So you okay. can defer income, in other words, not pay tax mm -hmm. on income on the first 10 million. And, and then as long as you redeploy those funds into the business as a form of a producer's loan, for example. This is the PKF Texas Entrepreneur's Playbook. I'm Jen Lemansky and I'm back once again with Frank Landerneau, one of our approachable advisors and one of the directors in our international tax practice. Frank, welcome back to the Playbook. Well, thanks for having me back. So we're talking IC Disc, and we mentioned it a little bit last time, but um, has the strategy changed since tax reform happened? I know before tax reform, there were things that you could do for IC Disc after are there different things? What, what do people need to know? Yeah, the, so the strategy has changed a little bit if, depending on what type, how you have yourself organized and your type of business. So for example, um, the rate arbitrage isn't the same with um, regular corporations because now the corporate rate is 21%, the capital gains rate is 23.8. So would you do the disk for, for the purpose of a rate arbitrage if you're a regular C corporation? Probably not. But for, for flow-through entities, which is where most people in the middle market space do business, you know, partnerships, S corporations, they do business in that form of business. Uh, the rate arbitrage is, is even star more stark because the top rate is 37% for individuals and that's how they're taxed versus the capital gains rate at 23.8%. So it's still a pretty hefty arbitrage for, for middle market businesses doing business as partnerships and as corporations. Now, do you see IC Disc changing at all in the future, or do you think it'll remain relatively the same? It's been pretty stable, as we kind of mentioned last time, over mm -hmm. the course of, since it's been impl implemented in the late 1970s. Now, it has changed in the 80s, uh, but more recently, no. And, and the strategy for regular domestic corporations mm -hmm. wouldn't be to take advantage of the rate arbitrage, but rather uh, deferral. So you okay. can defer income, in other words, not pay tax mm -hmm. on income on the first 10 million. And, and then as long as you redeploy those funds into the business as a form of a producer's loan, for example. And with interest rates going up, the, there, that's why the interest charge piece of the disk you're charged 1.7%, that was the rate in 2022, 1.71%. Sure. That's a much lower rate if you want to redeploy the, those funds back into the business. And that's what a lot of C corporations are doing, or regular corporations are doing, as opposed to taking advantage of the rate arbitrage. So that's, that's one big thing that's changed since tax reform. So this sounds really interesting. If a company hasn't set up an IC disk, is it too late? No, as long as you're doing export activity, we don't anticipate this provision to change anytime soon. We have a divided Congress, as we, you know, probably will for the foreseeable future. And so I would say as long as you're doing exports, it doesn't take cost that much to actually set up one, uh, particularly if you, you're doing a commission type existence or doing the deferral strategies that I mentioned. I would say just really look into it, examine what all your options are. Perfect. Well, Frank, I think people need to call you if they have questions. Would love to ha entertain the thought of discussing this with more clients and, and take advantage of this provision for more taxpayers. Perfect. Well, we'll get you back to talk about some more international topics. Sound good? Sounds great. Thank All you. Right. Great. Thank you. This has been another Thought Leader production brought to you by PKF Texas, the Entrepreneur's Playbook. For more information about this and other international topics, visit pkftexas.com forward slash international. Tune in next week for another chapter.